kill him. Oh, bam, 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 bam. Really? Yeah. I killed one. Again. Lay down your armor, lay down your courage too Lay down your dagger, can't escape what follows you Get down, cover up, here they come I got Mountain House, biscuits and gravy, I got all sorts of snacks, I got everything. This is my, my kind of hunt right here. We're starting at about 9.30. Had to stop and get some donuts. Meeting a buddy of ours, uh, Logan. But yeah, we just drove drove all morning and we're gonna do a little, little midday loaf hunt on some water. These mallards are trading on and we're in front of this cold front. I say in front of it, it's already cold. It's like 18 degrees. But it's supposed to get colder. It's supposed to get on the four tonight. So it's gonna be chilly. We brought our warm, our warm gear. Things have been pretty rough at home. Rough meaning really rough we've got really really stale weather and not a lot of ducks around the ducks that are around have been hunted now for a couple months we packed up the wagon and headed east Noah started at like midnight <laughs> here we go oh guys that didn't take long wow I wanted, I wanted to use the witch I just wanted an opportunity to use the witch so Trying to find the perfect spot. Everyone, it's Logan. Logan has graciously invited us over, and uh, yeah, he's been putting in the man hours because he's like, Yeah, follow me in this little spot. Mallards and hawkers explode out of it. I was like, Oh, there's a few birds around. Okay. All right, we got a plan. We're going to end up putting layouts down in this depression in the snow or put snow covers on them, grab a little load of grass, and then just kind of break up the outlines. But it'll put us, we don't want to be right on top of the slough. A, because we'll be looking at us, and B, that actually makes for really tough shooting. So we're gonna pull off a slew a little bit, set up some goose decoys on the flat, and then some mallard floaters down at the bottom with the uh, decoy dancer, and this should be fun. They're already starting to trade back. Packing the hole here. Kyle needs to work on his throwing. He's so excited, he's throwing them over. I have also been told this is now a river. So. Yeah, this is a river. This is a I river. Throw them all the way into the river. No, we're doing we're basically trying to ma match the look. I mean, there's at least a thousand ducks in this little stretch. So, we're obviously not going to throw out a thousand decoys, but we're going to try and pack them in there. May it look like the party's over here because we are competing with some live birds down the way. We got about a dozen stuffers out, six goose floaters. We get the blinds all dialed in. And see if we can't kill a few. I'm not sure how fast they're gonna come back. We've seen a few flocks buzzing around. We're setting it up to where the sun's gonna be at our back and we're off that, off this river enough to where, where hopefully the shots are about 20 yards, which will be about perfect. So. <laughs> Kyle's sleeping. <laughs> the Logan had to kill it. <laughs> Bam! Get that bird there. <laughs> we just got ourselves a bonus bird! Hold back in there. I got a half mud to walk on and shoot me through the Yeah. Alright. Status update. Ryder inside to the kennel. Getting some sunshine. Getting some sunshine. Birds didn't come back we thought they were or thought they were going to. This is part of hunting is the way it is. Uh, we had some teal come through, one little bunch of mallards. I got a beautiful merganser, which if you're laughing, don't laugh. It's a gorgeous bird. I'm getting it mounted. I'm doing a dead mount with a bunch of divers. So that's happening. We're going to rally up, load up. There's some cornfield ducks not too far away that we're going to try and hunt. We got a few hours. It sounds like they've been moving that last 
half hour for 40 minutes so it might be kind of fast and furious but yeah we're gonna go ahead and pack up and uh, load everything up and mosey down the way get set up this afternoon dry field uh, corn corn hunt and then tomorrow it sounds like we're gonna do hawkers which i'm excited for I haven't hunted hawkers over here in a long time that was a fun little shoot learned a little bit about hunting this ice low stuff too we ended up pulling the decoys in tighter because the outside bend was where all the ice was taking all of our decoys and pushing them downstream and then a frantic hurry. It's we're frantic. We've got not a lot of time to make this happen, and the ducks are starting to come. So, rapido, rapido. Silhouettes, four panels in the corn, and we're just gonna go for it. Some slash yeah. corn. We got two panels. We put out five dozen black and whites, and then five dozen ducks. So, we'll gotta get these cows out of here. And uh, here's the spread. Spinner here. Spinner here. Ducks are coming from that direction. Let's go. I'm loading up. You guys loading up? You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready enough. Kill ducks. <laughs> All right, guys. We what? set up two panel blinds, 10 dozen decoys, brushed them in, less than 30 minutes, parked Back the trucks, left. and uh, it is game on. Big flop. Big flop coming up. We got a big bunch. All right, guys, be ready. Everyone, we're shooting. This is epic. <laughs> Kill him. So what we've got, we've got two decoy dancers out at about 20 yards, five dozen of the dive bomb black and whites and then five dozen mallards, and for this decoy is maybe 30 yards. These first two bunches finished at 15 yards. So what we're gonna do is, we're getting the flocks like two, 300. First 20 or 30 that just do it right in the hole, we're gonna shoot them. And uh, we got 45 minutes to see what we can do. So I love, I love this kind of stuff. This is an absolute blast. <laughs> Coming to heart. These might be a first pass. Yep. Shoot into these. Yeah. It's cows are killing it. These are setting up right yeah. here. Kill them. That was awful. Oh, there's some feathers, yeah. <laughs> I think we got a little excited. Darn it. Those cows are balling up and kind of messing with them. Sir. Clean. A little bit.
first pass, guys. Kill him. I think nice. I got one. That was a good one. That, one. that was a good go, boys. That was a good go. Nice, nice shooting. Good that was a good go. That was... Yeah, nice shooting, guys. Do that again. Thumbs up if you guys like that. <laughs> 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 oh, Kill him. Ah. Nice job, guys. I think I killed one. Can you hit smoke that hit? Oh, I this low bunch out front's gonna be good. Yeah. Hey guys, just want to tell you thanks. Today we hit uh, 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty, pretty dang cool. Um, things have been kind of growing in popularity and all the feedback's been awesome, but leave a comment. Let us know, is there a certain type of hunt you want to see or a certain location or something you want to hear about? Tip, tactic, we want to know. So leave a comment and uh, yeah, thanks for everything guys. Comment cornfield mallards because this is what I like to do. <laughs> Locked up, they are, as Cody would say, uh, packing pumpkins. <laughs> Kill him. Oh, bam, 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 bam. Really? Yeah. I killed one. I didn't. This shot really Saw good. Saw band on her lifting. More duck, more duck, more duck, more duck. New bunch. Three minutes, see if we can get one more. Okay, we got maybe last last little volley here, but gosh, these ducks Where are working nice. We're definitely favoring the left side for what we did is we had two two spinners going. 
We stopped pulling on the left side spinner to try and drag him across. And uh, it's been working. Maybe center center is up all nice. This three might give us. All right, guys, ready. Especially for the first few goes, we didn't didn't shoot that great, and then we started shooting good. So, all right, guys, uh, we're just wrapping up. Let me show you something real quick. So, we have no affiliation here, but any black and white decoil work. This is like a fully flocked black and white silhouette. If you look out amongst this spread, these ducks can see these black and whites from a long, long ways away. So that's why we went ahead and used them. I have not used these on geese yet. I'm a little nervous too, but we're gonna try it at some point. But for ducks, absolutely, whether it be a flooded field, dry field, um, black and whites stick out a long ways. And then we're using the spinners. Like I said earlier, we ended up not using the, the left side spinner because those birds were hanging up on the left side. So we ended up stopping the left side spinner to pull them across to the right side spinner and get better shooting for everyone. Took us about two or three flocks to figure that out. And our first couple flocks, we didn't shoot all that great because the birds were really favoring that left side. But once we got them to square up, we made all the, all, the, all the difference. We were shooting four or five, six out of each flock. So another thing um, hunting these cornfields is I like a real loud call and I like a lot of calling because I want to make, make it sound like the party is here. Like get the, get the birds super excited. Um, I was using our, our Game Changer XL, but like our Game Changer or our XL or even our Slick Trickle work, but the louder the call, the better. That's why I went with, went with the XL today. But keep in mind too, like if you find something that they're really, really keen in on at the very end, um, they were really getting excited on the feed chatter. So I just kept going with that feed chatter real hard, but kind of got to kind of match the hatch. Yeah, no, this is, this is what, this is what it's all about. Dry field, uh, dry cornfield mallards. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. We made a quick audible and got in here and paid off. So hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it.